I'm deeply interested in proteins because they make up all life as we know it. And while we often think about proteins as a food group, in reality, nearly every component of all living cells that's not itself a protein was made by some protein. Our genes are the blueprints for thousands of proteins. They define how we look, how we feel. They really define us and really all life as we know it. And so our ability to fully comprehend proteins to the extent that we can manipulate them, make them do what we want, or even build new proteins from scratch that do something unheard of, uh, would really allow us to control life in such a fashion where we could set very lofty goals such as curing all disease. The problem? Proteins are immensely complicated. They're all made out of the same 20 constituent components known as amino acids. I've shown them here in their single letter code, and colored each one differently so you can get a sense of the variety. And these Amino acids are strung together in a specific sequence that dictates a protein's structure and function. And you can think of this the same way that letters are strung together to form sentences or paragraphs. On the top, you'll see an example of an average size protein. It's 500 amino acids long, and that specific sequence dictates that complicated but beautiful structure you see on the right. Now, our ability to fully understand why precisely that sequence but not others dictates that structure and function is hampered by an astronomical problem. That is, with 20 amino acids, with 500 positions, or 20 to the 500, there are more possibilities of a protein of an average size than there are atoms in the universe. We cannot possibly comprehend all the possibilities. Now, our lab has gotten around this by creating much, much, much simpler and smaller proteins, like the one you see right below it, that creates that fairly predictable, uh, very simple structure. That protein's only 25 amino acids long. And amazingly, these proteins still do something. They still have a biological function or a biological effect. And in fact, the three that you see below that, each one a unique sequence, 25 amino acids long, dictates a different biological function. Now, even proteins this small are still nearly impossible to comprehend why one sequence and not others has that specific function, because even at 25 residues long, or 20 to the 25th, there are still more possibilities than there are stars in the universe. That number is one octillion. Now, what I've done in my thesis project is I found that we can actually make these much simpler. We can make proteins that are only made of leucine, shown here by the letter L, and just swap a single amino acid at a single position. And within this paradigm, there are only 500 possibilities. Now, 500 is a manageable number. I can read 500 pages of a book, I can listen to 500 songs. If I had enough time, I could even watch 500 movies. And I've actually been able to test a number of these. And by doing so, I've found how single amino acid substitutions at only a single position between two different residues can dictate unique biological effects. And we can think about this the same way that even in the English language, we can understand the difference a letter makes. For example, uh, the difference between the nutritious vegetable kale and our beloved institute, Yale. Thank you.